Good day, class. Uh, today, we will be discussing on how to connect a uh, Raspberry Pi to a laptop display. Okay, so as you can see here, I have here at my hand the uh, Raspberry Pi. Of course, it is not just a connection okay, from the laptop display. So we will be discussing also here uh, on how to, of course, uh, install the Raspberry Pi OS on our uh, computer itself. Okay. So at the end of the presentation, uh, the student should be able to discuss the principle of connecting Raspberry Pi to a laptop display. Since majority of the discussions you can find online is basically on how to connect it on a separate uh, monitor, um, preferably on your uh, television or other monitor that you can uh, buy online. So in this uh, discussion or this presentation, uh, we will be discussing on how to connect our Raspberry Pi into our laptop display for our own convenience. Okay. And then identify the hardware and software requirements of the said topic. And then demonstrate how to connect the Raspberry Pi to a laptop display using a PuTTY a terminal window and a VNC viewer. Okay. So here is our uh, presentation outline. Uh, we will be starting with the introduction, the hardware requirements, next one, the software requirements, the installation codes, and then lastly, we will be demonstrating our on how to connect okay, and then install the Raspberry Pi OS on our laptop and of course display the operating system uh, on our uh, display, on a laptop display. Okay, so let us start with the introduction. So a Raspberry Pi is a tiny computer about the size of a deck of cards. So as you can see here um, at my hand, here is a Raspberry Pi a 3 okay, model B+. Okay, so why is that it is called a tiny computer? So basically we can, um, we have referred to, uh, to it as a tiny computer since basically all of the capabilities, majority of the capabilities or the composition of a computer is in this uh, Raspberry Pi board, okay? So as you can see, based on the specifications, uh, 1.4 gigahertz uh, for the speed of this Raspberry Pi, the normal range of our laptop uh, computer and desktop computer um, rate of speed is around 2.6 gigahertz, uh, typically, or around 3 gigahertz, 3 gigahertz. And then it has an architecture of 64 bit um, my laptop itself have a 64-bit architecture and uh, some of the laptops have a 32-bit architecture, also quad-core processor. As you can see, uh, this Raspberry Pi also have a Bluetooth capability, it's a wireless LAN capability, Ethernet, uh, power over Ethernet also support. So basically, all of the major, major uh, components of a computer is here under Raspberry Pi. So basically it is a very powerful device uh, to work on. Okay, so it uses what's called the system on chip. So the basic, the basic principle of a system on chip is as stated here. So uh, basically integrates the CPU or the central processing unit and then the GPU or the graphics processing unit in a single integrated circuit. Here at this uh, single chip or at here at this uh, single uh, integrated circuit. So with its RAM and then USB port. So RAM is not uh, here by itself. Basically the RAM chip is uh, from the front view. So the uh, RAM chip is actually here, right? Here is the uh, RAM of this uh, Raspberry Pi, okay? And then some USB ports and then other component, components which will be discussed on the next slide, such as HDMI, uh, the power adapter, or the audio and then video, etc. Okay, so that's why uh, it is called a tiny uh, computer, okay, with a size of a deck of cards. Okay. So here are the major parts in uh, with the legend on our this on our presentation here, so we USB ports. So overall we overall we have four USB ports, okay, and then some Ethernet port, okay. With this one, the 
uh, video and then audio socket here uh, for the camera ports, HDMI, the 5 volt port. Okay, as you can see here, here is our uh, processing unit. Okay, the display connector, the GPIO pins, etc. So here is the hardware requirements of our topic for today on how to connect, of course, the Raspberry Pi to our laptop display and, of course, also discuss the uh, insulation along with it, okay? So the Raspberry Pi, of course, you will the, uh, needing that one, which you can see here on the display. And then the RJ45, okay? You will need this one, okay? Okay. RG45 LAN cable, uh, USB, okay, USB card, okay, and then the either or you either USB card adapter or uh, or the OTG multifunction card uh, reader, okay. But the basic uh, the basic point is that uh, you can install uh, the Raspberry Pi OS on this micro SD. So I have here at my hand about the OTG USB uh, multifunction card uh, reader writer display. Basically, we'll just plug it in my computer with the uh, USB port. And then I will just input, okay? I will just uh, insert okay, this micro SD on this uh, multifunction card reader or writer. Okay. And then, of course, you will need to power up your uh, Raspberry Pi uh, power adapter. Okay. This one. Okay. And then for the software requirements of this uh, topic, we will, be this, uh, we will be using Raspberry Pi Imager, uh, Raspberry Pi OS. You can be downloaded uh, this links, the VNC viewer and the uh, Putty uh, terminal viewer. Okay. So, First, let us visit each of the software requirements. So, as you can notice here, okay, uh, just download uh, the first link that uh, has been provided to you, the Raspberry Pi uh, Imager. You can download if you're Windows using Windows PC. So, download Mac OS, etc. So, just install it, that one later on. And then for the Raspberry Pi um, OS, okay. Uh, just install it on your preferred location, okay? And then with respect to uh, this one, the BNC viewer, okay? Let's click on that one. And then, of course, you can uh, paste it on your preferred uh, location also. And then lastly, don't forget to, of course, uh, install it. And then the PATI, okay, PATI terminal window. Okay, can install if you are 64 bit architecture. Okay, can click this one. Okay, and then that's it now for the software requirements. So, you can, so install. So, let us start with the installation process with our uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, so make sure that you have inserted your micro SD on your writer itself. Okay, then just insert it on your laptop. <clears throat> so 